Are you a card maker and do you ever get in a creative rut? Or do you like working with pattern paper to create a variety of coordinating cards? If so, then I have a challenge for you. Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and it is time for a new card making challenge. Kendra's card challenge number 15. This is a quarterly card making challenge where you can create 15 cards using six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. It's like a one sheet wonder times six. If you're not familiar with a one sheet wonder, it's a way to cut a sheet of paper efficiently so that you have little to no scraps. And then you turn those pattern paper pieces into cards. Of course, you'll need other card stock and supplies, but for this challenge, you can create 15 American A2 size cards and have a chance to win a lot of prizes by sharing your cards throughout the quarter. This challenge runs from July 1st through September 30th of 2024. There are over 20 company prize sponsors this quarter with over $1,000 worth of prizes that will be given away throughout this challenge. I'll share details on the prizes and how to enter the challenge in just a bit. To sum up the challenge, you would pick out six coordinating pattern papers and assign them to each of the color-coded papers A through F on the printable. I provide this for free over on my Patreon page once you sign up as a free member. The cutting templates are for six inch by six inch paper. If you use double-sided paper, that's even better because you'll have more options in case you don't like two of the patterns together. You can just use the other side. You will cut out the papers using the cutting templates and sort the pieces for each of the 15 card sketches. I like to use cellophane bags to keep everything organized. Once you have those cut, you'll need to take a look at each of the sketches and select some matching colored cardstock for the layers. Each of the card sketches have measurements for each of the pieces. The pattern paper pieces are color coded and then the rest of the elements on the sketch are either gray, black, or white. And you can use any colors that you'd like for this. So I like to use coordinating cardstock so that I can not only use it for my layers, but also my card bases. So you'll cut and sort the layers and the card bases for each of the cards. And then you can decide how you want to decorate them using stamps, dies, ephemera, or embellishments. And then you just assemble the cards. This challenge is a great way to use up those paper pads and get a set of coordinating cards in the process. Now I have some important information to share in this video, so please make sure to listen to the details on how to officially enter the challenge to be eligible to win prizes. I'll be sharing that shortly. So this is the PDF digital download for KCC 15. It has six cutting templates. As mentioned before, each of the papers are color coded so that you'll easily be able to see what pieces go with each of the card sketches. The first page of the printable shows the cutting templates for the first two sheets of pattern paper, A and B. And as you can see, there are circled numbers on each of the pieces, and this lets you know which card sketch that that piece goes with. There are also arrows to show the direction that that piece goes when it's on the card. For this challenge, you will notice that with all of the papers, the arrows are pointing in different directions. So it's best to use patterns that are non-directional, meaning that it doesn't matter which way you turn the paper. If you want to use a directional pattern, you may have to rotate the card sketch to have it face the right way. Some of the arrows are at a diagonal, so keep that in mind when picking out your papers. Each of the pieces have measurements, and it also has a pair of scissors, which shows where to make your first cut. And then the second page shows the pattern papers for C and D, and the third page shows papers E and F. Now something new that we have for challenge 15, you can now purchase cutting files. There are SVGs and files for Brother Scan and Cut available to download over in the Patreon shop. If you have an electronic cutting machine, such as a Brother Scan and Cut, Cricut, or a Silhouette, and you're interested, just take a look at the shop tab on the Kendra's Card Challenges Patreon page, which I'll have linked below. Now, these are the color-coded sketches. So in looking at the first page, you can see that pieces from paper A make up card sketches one, two, and three. Paper B, is on sketches four, five, six, and seven, and so on. What's great about the sketches having measurements on them is that if you only want to make one card rather than a whole set of 15, you can because you have what you need on the sketch. If you don't have a lot of time to create cards, you can just make your favorite sketches and enter the individual sketch challenges, which I'll explain more about shortly. Now, sketch 15 is pretty unique. It looks like a shirt. So if you're using masculine paper, it has a note on here how to use triangles to make it look like a man's button-up shirt. 
One great thing about this challenge is that the sketches are really just meant to be a starting point to get your creative juices flowing. You don't have to follow them exactly as they are. You can put your own creative spin on them. But in order to be eligible to win prizes for the challenge, you will need to make a set of 15 cards with the exception of those individual cards that I mentioned. But you can also enter those individual cards into the individual sketch albums if you only want to make one or just a few. There are separate prizes for those, but it is an option if you're really busy and don't have time to make a full set. Now the bottom of this page has some instructions and tips. And then over on the last page, it shows the list of all of our amazing prize sponsors with links to their online stores if you have this pulled up on a computer. All of these companies have donated prizes and you can have a chance to win these prizes by participating in the challenge, either monthly or quarterly. Some prizes are given away monthly and some are quarterly prizes. So for a complete list of prizes that you can win, visit KindrestCardChallenges.com and click on the Sponsors tab. The companies with stars next to them are super sponsors. And what that means is that they have not only donated a prize, but they also donated some supplies to the KCC design team for them to be able to create projects so that you can see card making inspiration using the Challenge 15 sketches and their products. So throughout the quarter, you'll be able to watch the videos and the hops on both YouTube and Instagram and have more chances to win prizes. So there's lots of prizes to be won for not only playing along, but also participating in our hops by watching the videos by the talented design team members, which I'll introduce here shortly. In order to download the free printable, you'll need to head over to my Patreon page that I have linked in the description box below and then join as a free member. In order to do that, you'll just need to enter your email address. Once you're a member, you will find the post with the link to the PDF file pinned at the top of the Patreon page, and it does automatically download to your downloads folder when you click on that file. Now, this challenge is free to download during the contest dates, and after that, it gets archived. If you'd like to receive extra perks and benefits, you can upgrade your membership to either an official All Access or VIP member. Now, the left side of this last page has a quick reference guide which is a chart to show what papers are matched with others for each of the card sketches. And this will help when choosing your papers so you'll know what needs to be coordinated. On the right side of this last page, the table outlines what you get as a paid member of my Patreon membership program. Now, these challenges take a lot of time to create, so joining as a paid patron is one way to help support what I offer the crafty community. Paid patrons help to keep the challenges free each quarter. Starting at just $5, you can receive access to a printer-friendly version of the challenge, access to a year's worth of archived previous challenges, and bonus printables, which are digital downloads that include digital card making kits, digital sentiments, fun fold card tutorials, and more. For $10, as an all-access patron, you can receive everything that I've already mentioned, plus early access to new card challenges, access to the past two years previous card challenges, and a mystery card making kit sampler, which is an envelope filled with paper, cardstock, and die cuts or sentiments where you can make one to three card fronts, and those are mailed out each month. They are a lot of fun to work with, and you get to sample products from some of our amazing sponsors. And for $25, VIP patrons receive additional benefits on top of what's already been mentioned, and these include a handmade card from me each month, a full-size mystery card making kit which includes enough supplies to make 15 or more card fronts, access to additional video tutorials, and a crafty live stream each quarter. There's also an exclusive Facebook group for all access and VIP patrons where you can enter to win additional prizes for creating with the card kits. For more information about my Patreon, you can scan the QR code on the printable or visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges. I'll also have this linked in the description box below. Now while I explain how to enter the challenge for a chance to win some amazing prizes, I'll show you the first set of cards that I made using these sketches. To enter the challenge, you'll first want to join the Kendra's card challenges Facebook group. After creating your set of cards, you'll want to upload one photo containing all 15 cards into the official entry photo album for the month. You will need to include your country of residence in the photo caption since some of the prizes have to be shipped and will only be available to those who live in the USA, but most of the prizes are gift certificates and can be won by anyone worldwide. Please double check to make sure that your country is included after you upload because sometimes Facebook can be glitchy. 
You can enter once per month, so up to three times per quarter. If you're not on Facebook, you can enter and upload your photo of all 15 cards to the form on my website, kendrascardchallenges.com, located under the help section, but please note that these will not be included in the showcase. There are also individual sketch photo albums where you can upload single photos of each of your cards so that we can see them up close, and this will also enter you to win one of the 15 sketch prizes. The first five sketch winners will be announced after the first month ends, sketches 6 through 10 will be announced after the second month ends, and then sketches 11 through 15 after the quarter ends. You can enter as many times as you'd like into these individual sketch albums. After each month ends, winners for the monthly prizes will be randomly selected from the eligible entries posted to that month's photo album and announced on my YouTube channel, usually a week or so after the month ends. Then at the end of the quarter, the quarterly prizes will be drawn from the entries from all three photo albums. The details for how to enter the challenge can also be found in the Facebook group under the featured posts that are pinned at the top of the group. I'll link the current month's photo album in this post if you're having trouble finding the albums on Facebook. Please make sure you upload your photo into the album and not to the comments section. I don't have a lot of rules, but you do need to make a full set of 15 cards to enter for these quarterly and monthly prizes. If you have scraps instead of cutting six papers and you want to use them instead to make your full set of cards, that is totally fine. If you have any questions at all about anything, please don't hesitate to ask either in the Facebook group or over on Patreon. We have a wonderful community of crafters from beginners to seasoned card makers, and we're all here to help and hopefully inspire you to make your own beautiful creations. I'd now like to introduce the color palette challenge for July. I created the Challenge 15 printable using these beautiful colors. Now these color palettes are created by Sarah Renee Clark, and she gave us permission for us to use these for our monthly color challenges, which is an additional card making challenge separate from the sketch challenge. It's where you can create any project using the colors in the color palette and then post a photo of it into the color challenge album in my Facebook group for a chance to win a prize. It can be a card, a scrapbook page, journal, really anything that you'd like as long as you use the colors in the palette. And it does not have to be a project using one of the sketches from our quarterly sketch challenge. You can use neutral colors such as black, white, gray, brown, and metallics but you'll need to make sure that you use the colors in the color palette. So I hope you'll join us on the color palette challenge for July. Now I'd like to introduce you to the new Kendra's Card Challenges design team. We have some familiar faces and some new team members and I'm super excited to see what all they have to share this quarter. I have a link to the design team page in the description box below where I have information about each of the team members and links to their socials. So I hope you'll check it out and subscribe and follow them. We will be having a video giveaway hop that begins July 2nd, where each of the Kendra's Card Challenges video team members will be showing the card making process for each of the 15 card sketches in this challenge. We have a playlist of videos that you can watch in order. For each stop, you can enter the giveaway form for multiple chances to win. For hopping along, you'll have a chance to win a goodie bag filled with card making supplies valued at $250. We're also having an Instagram hop with our Reels designers for another giveaway. I hope you'll hop along with us to get some wonderful ideas and tips for Challenge 12 and have multiple chances to win. You definitely don't want to miss this, so mark your calendars. And we will also be doing a live stream hop on YouTube on July 6th. I'll be starting the hop at 5.45 p.m. Eastern, showcasing the June entries for Challenge 14 and announcing the June and quarterly prize winners. And then you'll watch the next live stream in the playlist and continue hopping along to each team member's channel until all 15 cards have been completed. So I hope you'll join us in the live chat and craft along. Make sure you're a subscriber to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads and posts. There will be several helpful videos linked over on my Patreon page, including how to cut the papers and process videos for creating each of the cards using the sketches. Plus, I'll be adding additional tutorial videos throughout the quarter made by our talented design team members. Some of the videos will be exclusive to paid patrons only, but many of the videos pertaining to this quarter's challenge will be accessible by everyone, so I hope you'll turn on your Patreon notifications so you don't miss out on any of those posts. 
Now let's talk about the amazing prizes you can win for Kendra's Card Challenge 15. As mentioned before, we have over 20 company prize sponsors this quarter with prizes valued at more than $1,000. The sponsors for this challenge are shown here along with the prizes you can win. Some prizes are monthly and some prizes are quarterly, so to have more chances to win, you can submit a set of cards each month. It will need to be a different set of cards and you can enter up to three times per quarter. There are also some additional prizes you can win, such as mystery card kit samplers, stamps and dies, and embellishments that I'm giving away. Sketch winners will receive a handmade card and access to one of my digital downloads. You can see the full list of prizes and what each company has donated over on my website under the Sponsors tab. I need to emphasize, though, that for all the giveaways throughout the challenge, you will need to claim your prizes. Don't miss the winner's announcement videos to see if you're a winner. I post in the Facebook group and over on my Patreon page when this will take place each month. If you're participating in YouTube hops, be sure to turn on notifications for my channel so that you'll get notified when I post on my community tab, as this is where I post the hop winners. If it's an Instagram hop, I'll be tagging your account on my post after the hop ends over on Instagram. So be sure to check your notifications on both of those platforms. Remember you have until September 30th of 2024 to create your cards and get them posted to the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group or uploaded to the form on my website. If you're watching this video after September 30th, you can download the archived printables through my Patreon page, either as a paid patron member or you can purchase them individually and these can be found under the collections tab. These are linked at the bottom of my website homepage at kendrascardchallenges.com. Now I'd like to take a moment to thank the Kendra's Card Challenges patrons shown here. You don't know how much I appreciate your support. This is such an awesome group of crafters and I'm so grateful to have you as part of the KCC family. I really hope you'll join us on the challenge. If you post your creations on social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, or YouTube, or even TikTok, you can use the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 15 and KCC 15. Others can see your creations and be inspired. By using these hashtags, this allows everyone to search for cards made with the challenge. So if you're looking for more examples or inspiration, searching social media with these hashtags is a great resource. If you think you might give this challenge a try, leave me a comment. If you're new to my channel, let me know how you found this video or heard about the challenge. I'd also love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and share this challenge with any of your crafty friends who you think might enjoy it. So I hope you will join us for challenge 15. I really appreciate you watching this video. I can't wait to see what you create and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.